they look cool, are incredibly fast, extremely expensive, and flown by the best and most courageous pilots in the world. Fighter jets belong to every powerful air force, but especially Russia, China, and the US attach great importance to these machines. Russia alone has a lot more fighter jets than Germany, France, Great Britain, Italy, Spain, and Turkey combined. And today we'll take a look at the best fighter jets in the world. Let's start with the Suchoi Su-57. This is currently the most modern combat aircraft in Russia. Because it is so new, there are only 12 of them, of which at least two have already completed combat missions. The Su-57 has high versatility. It can be used as both a fighter bomber or a reconnaissance aircraft, as well as an air dominance fighter and an interceptor. So this jet is able to fight in an air combat against other jets, but can also detect and attack targets on the ground. It's Russia's first fifth generation jet, which means it combines the combat abilities of a regular jet with state-of-the-art camouflage technology, extreme maneuverability, and well-integrated computer systems working together in a network to significantly improve the situational awareness. The Su-57 is 19.7 meters long, has a wingspan of 14 meters, and weighs 18.5 tons. It can be equipped with a maximum of 10 tons of weapons. The deployable radius is quite good at 1,200 kilometers, as well as the top speed at Mach 2, which is a maximum of 2,150 kilometers per hour. Next comes China's best fighter jet, the Chengdu J-20. This one is pretty new as well and wasn't put into service until 2017. Like the Su-57, it's a fifth-generation fighter. The J-20 also has camouflage properties. Of course, this doesn't make it invisible, but makes sure that the jet cannot be tracked with a normal radar. In addition to the fighter aircraft, the Chinese are also developing hypersonic missiles that can fly at 6,000 km per hour to equip the J-20 with. The Chinese fighter jet is 20.4 meters long, has a wingspan of 13.5 meters, and a weight of 19.4 tons. Its deployable radius is supposed to be over 1,000 kilometers, and the maximum speed is at least Mach 1.7, which means 2,100 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, there aren't any exact numbers published, though. Probably the best fighter jet in Europe, which just kicked the Eurofighter Typhoon off the list, is the Dassault Rafale from France. In various analysis, it scored better than the Eurofighter, and that even though it actually costs less. The Rafale is the only fourth-generation jet on this list, because so far only the Russians, Chinese, and Americans own fighter jets of the fifth generation. As a result, the French jet of course has its disadvantages at long distances where, for example, the Su-57 could launch guided missiles without even being detected by the radar of the Rafale. However, in a dogfight, i.e. in a battle conducted at close range, the Rafale could absolutely win against the more modern competition. In addition, as a multi-purpose combat aircraft, it is well suited for all tasks and has already proven itself on many missions. The Rafale is 15.27 meters long, has a wingspan of 10.8 meters, and weighs 10.2 tons. It can be equipped with 9.5 tons of weapons, has a deployable radius of 1,093 kilometers and reaches a maximum speed of 2,125 kilometers per hour. Finally, the best air dominance fighter in the world, the F-22 Raptor by Lockheed Martin from the US. No wonder the Americans have the most advanced fighter. After all, they spend much more money on it than all the other countries in the world. The development costs of an F-22 are incredibly high at $400 million. What makes the F-22 so special is the combination of all the important features of a modern fighter jet, namely stealth technology, precision, maneuverability, and speed. The special strength of this fighter aircraft is capturing enemy targets long before it even appears on the opponent's radar. The weapons of the F-22 are hidden inside. This improves not only the stealth capabilities, but also the performance. As far as the onboard electronics are concerned, there's probably no other jet that can compete with the F-22 either. Of course, that does not mean it's invincible, though. The F-22 is 18.87 meters long, has a wingspan of 13.56 meters, and weighs 19.7 tons. It has a deployable radius of 1,482 kilometers and reaches a top speed of 2,410 kilometers per hour. If these combat aircrafts are the best of the best, then why can there be other fighters found in the hangars of the air forces as well? This is of course due to the cost and tasks that they are supposed to be used for. 
Even though the F-22 may be the best fighter, it costs $150 million, excluding development costs, which is almost twice as much as an F-35 that can perform even more diverse tasks. As you can see, it is always necessary to compare price and performance here. The Russian models often score best. For example, the Sukhoi Su-57, one of the world's newest fighter jets, cost only $50 million apiece. However, the amount of money needed to operate these aircrafts is really unbelievable and quite depressing. A single hour of flight with the F-22 costs between $60,000 and $70,000. With a sum as high as that, a normal person could live quite well for as long as three years. In addition, all combat aircrafts are intended to be used for different tasks, so a direct comparison is not easy. Well, which of these jets did you like the most, and do you know one that you think should definitely have been on this list? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, and until next time, bye!